This is another New Black World Order TV Productions. Uh-huh. Chopper, chopper. All right, Grand Rising family, what's happening? Here we go again. We're talking about an ancient practice of merging numbers with letters, right? Um, It's ironically, you know, I'm dealing with the number 47. Um, My birthday just passed. I'm 47 years old, right? So I thought I'd deal with the number 47. And explaining to you, you know, and um, what is it that we're really talking about when we're talking about the ancient practice of merging numbers with letters? What are we really talking about when we're talking about systems of morality, systems of mathematics, systems of um, sciences veiled in an allegory? Right. So if you have been following along with me. You probably have already went through uh, our um, explanations of um, sign symbols and time, right? So this is right back at it. Here we go. This is uh, so plain that a baby or a fool could not error in this. So let's get it in. If you are from the nation of gods and earth, from the nation of Islam, you're already familiar with supreme mathematics. You're already familiar with supreme alphabets, right? Um, so... This should be easy breezy for you, right? Believe me, this should be as easy as A, B, C, one, two, three, right? So we're talking about the number 47, right? The number four, right? If you look at it, one to 47, it looks like a one with an upside down seven. That's what it looks like to me. I'm just pointing some things out, but we're talking about the number 47 and the numbers from 1 to 47, right? So let's get it in. Let's take this nice and fast. Let's speed this up so that you can slow it down so that we can make understanding understood, okay? So listen, 4 plus 7 equals 11. All right. Four times seven equals 28. Okay. So we're talking about myths, fables, and time, right? Because time seems to be the over, overwhelming um, subject in the mythologies and religions that our people are lost in the story. They cannot see past the allegory. So we break it down simple as this. There are 12 months in a year, right? There is seven days in a week. There's four weeks in a month, right? This is common things that we know. And so we were already dealing with the four and the seven or the seven and the four on a weekly, monthly, and a yearly basis, right? Every month that goes past is 12 of them. We're dealing with seven days of a week and four weeks of that month, and we're doing it 12 times, right? So we're already dealing with these numbers, right? One, two, 47, right? If we count the numbers, right, from one to 47, and add them up, what will we get? And so most times what you're looking for is hidden, you know, like hidden right in plain sight. It's one thing I notice about the mathematics is that the stuff is hidden right in plain sight. Most time the answer is already with you. You just overlook it. You just overlook it. Most time the answer is already there. Um, your first Thought sometimes is the right thought, but you doubt yourself and you don't think that that's the right thought. So this stuff is, again, easy as one, two, three, ABC. So one of the myths that is or two of the myths that are wrapped around time is Christianity and Islam. OK, the central figure or character of Islam is Muhammad. This is one word, eight letters, right? The central figure um, around Christianity is Jesus, right? So if you're Christian and you're Muslim and you just got to this channel, 
Um, come on, take this journey with us. Walk along with us, right? You know, let's go through them four seasons, right? In a year, those four weeks in a month and those seven days in a week, right? We're dealing with the number 47, um, which is a reflection, right? Which is mirroring the number 74, right? If we take the simple English gematria, right? And, 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 and put his I view on the word Muhammad is one word, eight letters that add up to 74. And Jesus, who is the central figure of Christianity, right? And Jesus is also even mentioned along with the central figure of Muhammad in the crime, right? Jesus is important in Islam. Jesus is important in Christianity. If we take the simple English gematria for Jesus, J is a 10, E is a 5, S is a 19, U is a 21, and S is a 19 again, bringing us to the total of 74, okay? There are myths and fables in time. They are wrapped and centered around time, right? Um, the stories of Jesus can be found in the Holy Bible. The stories of Muhammad can be found in the Holy Quran, right? We have four weeks in a month, four seasons in a year. There's 12 months in a year. There's seven days in a week, right? The Holy Bible, the Holy Quran. Central character of the Quran is Muhammad. Central character of the Bible is Jesus. The Holy Bible is three words, 12 letters, right? The Holy Quran is also three words, 12 letters, right? <laughs> so this is what we're talking about um, when we're talking about that they have a plain template, right? Because we can just take a plain template. It's a calendar. It's a calendar in front of you, right? But it's a story wrapped around the central plain template, right? If we took the word Muhammad off of this simple plain template, we took the word Jesus off of the simple plain template, all we will see is a one, a four, and a seven. We'll, we, we'll understand the nuances and the modalities of a year and months. There's Seven days in a week, four weeks in a month, four seasons in a year. We're talking about the numbers from one to 47, right? Remember, 74 is a reflection of 47. In the Holy Quran, you're told to obey Muhammad. In the Holy Bible, you're told to obey Jesus. Ironically, the word obey, O is a 15, R B is a 2, E is a 5, and Y is a 25 that brings us to the grand total of 47, right? Which is a reflection of 74, right? Um, I want to also address that, you know, the short clips. I'll be giving short clips of, of what I'm talking about just to give you a gist of um, what it is that I'm trying to get over to you. I'm trying to get over to you a plain template, right? That all of these people use to entice your mind, to attract your mind, right? They make it colorful, right? You know, just like this poster up here is a very colorful poster, it's attractive, right? It has colors on there that would attract the mind, right? It's a Foot Locker poster, right? So that's what they do with these stories. They they fluff them up. They put characters in them. They make them real colorful. But if you was just to strip away all the fluff, you would see a plain template, right? A plain, simple template. And you would understand that since we've been coming along with these um, number videos, we're beginning to see that this is an um, a, a astrological theology, right? They're talking about as it is below, so it is above. You got 12 numbers on a clock. You got 12 months in a year, right? And 12 months is going to consist of seven days and four week months. They're going to be seven days in a week. They're going to be four weeks to each month, and it's going to be 12 months, right? So let's get it in again. We understand that 4 plus 7 is 11, right? 4 plus 7 is 11. 4 times 7 is 28, right? And we, we're trying to figure out what's the number right here. If I count the numbers from 1 to 47 and add them up, such as 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 plus 11 plus 12 plus 13 plus 14 plus 15 all the way up to 47 
and hit, hit that equal sign on your calculator, or you can do it on paper. It's really good when you do it on paper because when we write things, we seem to get it better. When we write things, we seem to understand it better, right? Remember we talked about the rights, right? <laughs> Remember we talked